Hey everybody, Chris Grust here. So today we're gonna to take a look at what I think are the top five bipods. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. bipod that we're going to be taking a look at today actually comes from Harris and I believe that Harris is the industry standard. So these bipods can mount to a sling swivel mount or you can have a different adapters to adapt to a Picatinny rail mount. They have a cant swivel and they're also spring deployment. Very easy to manipulate so just one-handedly like this uh, and they just pop out into place. For the leg extensions here, you merely have to depress this button right here and then you can pull these guys out. And then for the cant swivel adjustment, you loosen this knob on the rear and then you can swivel your bipod left and right as you please. So good advantage to a Harris bipod, relatively inexpensive, very high quality, very lightweight, very suitable for a hunting rifle or a range rifle, even competition, precision long range. Personally, I've always had very good luck with Harris bipods. So the next bipod that we're gonna take a look at is actually from Magpul. A few years back, they decided to get into the bipod game. So I have run a number of these bipods over the years. They're very reasonably priced. They have a steel attachment. They're also polymer. They come in different colors, black as you see here. They're very lightweight, just like the Harris bipods. They also have different mounting options, such as M-Lock as you see here. You can always get a Picatinny 1913 rail attachment method or you can also get these for an arms attachment as well as a sling swivel stud attachment. They also have a tilt and a pan movement and they have very easy one hand adjustments. So to deploy the bipod you merely just have to press the button here. To extend the legs you just press this button and you can move these up and down. On the Magpul bipod if you want to adjust the tilt you can just loosen up this knob here on the bottom you can tilt your bipod. Once you're done with that, you can tighten this back up. It also has a pan movement as well. And overall, I think the Magpul bipod does provide a very good value with all the features and adjustments of a more expensive bipod, but at a very affordable price point. So next up is an Atlas bipod. This is made out of both 6061 T6 and 7075 aluminum, as well as some stainless steel items. This particular one has a black anodized finish. You have various mounting options, including what you see here using a American Defense mount for a 1913 Picatinny rail. They also have arms mount capability as well. Weight overall, these are coming in around 14 to 16 ounces. They have a cant and height adjustment on all of these Atlas bipods, but there is a pan movement available on some versions. And you also have the ability on these to change the leg angles. In order to adjust the tilt feature, you have this knob on the rear of the bipod and you just loosen that up and you can tilt your bipod once you get the angle that you prefer. You can just lock this back in place. The feet are also interchangeable on the end with standard Atlas style Okay, so the next bipod that we're gonna take a look at is this guy here from Accutech. This is the SR5 Gen 2. This is a 100% billet aluminum construction. It comes in black. It is one of the heaviest bipods that we're gonna look at today. It comes in around 22 ounces. It does have replaceable feet. In my opinion, it is the best looking bipod out of the bunch. It's very unique in construction. For the mounting types, uh, we have the option of a 1913 Picatinny rail attachment or an Arca attachment. As far as movements, we have different angulations for the legs and they're very easily deployable one-handedly. So they are under spring tension and then they kind of snap into place in these different detents. If you want to deploy the feet or the legs to make them longer, you just pull out, press the button here and they retract. For the panning adjustment, you have a knob right here that you just loosen up one-handed, set your position for cant, and then cinch that back up 
Overall, in my opinion, the Accutec bipod is one of my favorites. It is a little bit more pricey than others, but not quite as expensive as the next bipod we're gonna take a look at. The next bipod that we're gonna be taking a look at today is from MDT. This is the CKYE Pod Gen 2 bipod. It is all metal construction. It does have an integrated barrier stop as well. It comes in black. It has replaceable feet on the end. It does come with these spike feet. The one drawback I would say to this particular bipod, it is on the pricey side. If you are shooting competition, you're serious about the competition, this would be the bipod for you in my opinion. Leg adjustments. For the length, you just merely press on this button. They are very simple, one-handed adjustments, very smooth. They do have kind of some texturing here on the leg so that you can grab those under wet conditions. To deploy the leg itself, you have to push this button out and they have different angulations as well like some of the other bipods that we've looked at. The other thing that this bipod has that's a little unique, you can actually change the inside angle of the legs. So you can have them very close together or if you need them to be further apart, you can also do so. so you also have a cant adjustment here. And you also have a panning on this particular bipod. This bipod, in my opinion, is purpose built for competition, specifically precision long range shooting competitions. Thank you all so much for taking a look at these bipods today with me. If you're looking for something like this, definitely go check out my friends over at Brownells. They have these bipods as well as many other bipods and different stuff in stock. If you guys have any questions or comments, please put those down below and I will catch you all in the next video. Y'all take it easy.